Investors here at the SALT conference certainly watching the market moves this week as the drama at the White House threatened to disrupt the Trump economic agenda. That's how they look at this. Billionaire Sam Zell is no different. I hosted the panel with him on the main stage just a day and a half ago. Afterward, I sat down with the expert investor and pretty much the father of real estate investing, equities and much else. Listen to what Sam Zell had to say to us about the economy under President Trump and whether the current political climate changes the way he invests and what he's worried about now. My own perspective about the economy right now is that, um, you know, Trump uh, as a factor has kind of changed the equation. Uh, in, in October, if you had asked me, I would have said I thought we were in the eighth inning. Uh, I think maybe Trump has generated some extra innings. Now, how long that'll last, I don't know. But the market's been going up since March of 09, so it's a long time. So you as an expert investor, both in real estate and equities and everything else, you look at the situation going on right now with Russia, calls for an investigation, investigations being launched. Does it change anything that you do when you invest? Um, certainly makes you very cognizant of the political risks in any situation. But I personally don't think that uh, what's going on right now is anything more than an outsider coming in and upsetting, uh, you know, the local boys game. Now, as we talk about what's going on here at the, the SALT conference, Ben Bernanke was the opening keynote speaker. The former Federal Reserve chief said, when asked about what would trigger the next financial crisis, he didn't want to really specifically say, but he did throw out shadow banking and the cycle of commercial real estate. Well, that's your bailiwick. That's your yeah, world. Sure. What inning are we in with, with commercial well, real estate? What are you seeing? Everything comes down to supply and demand. And in the commercial real estate market, the Great Recession effectively deferred uh, a lot of activity. We've been catching up pretty significantly. We're building more apartments this year than we have in the last 25 years. Uh, we're building a lot more hotel rooms, a lot more office space. Whether there's going to be demand for that, I think is a good question. And I think that's what uh, Bernanke is really making reference to when he talks about the vulnerability of the system to commercial real estate. Well, you, you buy and sell a lot here. What's liquidity like? Uh, liquidity has been going down for the last 12 months. Uh, for a while there, liquidity in commercial real estate was amazing. I mean, you put something on the market and there'd be 12 guys either wanting to buy it or if you wanted to buy something, there'd be 12 guys competing with you. Uh, there's been a definite reduction, particularly in anything except the very top of the market uh, that appeals to sovereign wealth funds and people like that. Why do you think that is? Well, I think that we've been, it's a long cycle. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of money made. There's been a lot of change in values. Uh, at some point, you know, everybody kind of looks at their toes and says, has the emperor got any clothes on? <laughs> I think that's a good question to ask at this time as it relates to commercial real estate. What's your favorite investment right now? I know you're doing some parking garage uh, structures in South America. What do you look at and say, now that's a place that's going to do well and from here well, to maybe the next five to ten years? I don't know about that, but I'll try and answer your question about what am I most excited about. Uh, we built a bridge. Uh, you know, for years I lied to people and told them that I had a bridge to sell them. <laughs> now but I didn't. <laughs> but now I do. And we built a bridge from uh, the Chula Vista, which is the southernmost point of California, over the Mexican border into the Tijuana airport. And this year, two million people will cross the it's pedestrian bridge, will cross the bridge going either way. Uh, and it's turning out to be a great infrastructure investment.
uh, which is kind of fascinating. I, I did ask whether he is a supporter of President Trump, and he said, I'm not sure I would say supporter, but given the alternative, he was absolutely on board with President Trump. And uh, he says that that bridge, by the way, everybody who crosses it is legal. See more of my interview with billionaire Sam Zell in today's Claim and Confidential. And to do that, just go to LizClaimant.com. How easy is that?